Hello, this is my Mega Man 11, and I'm back with uh, I'm back with a review on uh, on uh, the hunting navigator. Um, well, I didn't really get to do that other review. Well, the unpackaging anyway. About the playing the batteries, but I figured out how to work it and. Well, put in the batteries, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I, what I was going to say now. But okay, let's just start this video. Um, you could obviously see right here that you that you got turned this thing this way to turn it on, obviously, and as you can see, the little whatever you have here shows up and there in black and white little pixels and it shows like a little Japanese message the time and it also shows the month and date which is pretty cool okay you just oh and there's one more thing I forgot to mention this thing is actually a split screen so like one screen is the touch screen which is this one and this one is like the display screen like all the other stuff you can't touch so yeah and when you click it it shows like the time on the display screen and the little symbol thing and the uh, menus now now the middle one is options and as you can see it changed right here it changes when which, which one you click that one is all the fun stuff, which I'll mention later. The little data, I think. And I think it's like versus or something. I'm not really sure what it is. Ah, oh, come on. There you go. And um, this one is aquarium. Let's start off with that one. Okay, there are, as soon as you pick it, there are like two options. The bottom one is the option to trade with with some other thing that you connect right here, right there. And uh, the top one is to check your aquarium, which that's what we're going to do right now. As you can see, it looks like a little aquarium, obviously. And you gotta push this little this little orange button and push that to select it and I'm not sure what that is I think it's like trading it or something this one is leveling up and the last one is stats and leveling the uh, thing is is weird. You got to like keep twisting that. You got to keep twisting that and then this bar fills up all the way. Like how long you twist it. And you can exit it simply by pu pushing that. And yeah, that's pretty much all about the aquarium. And you can also feed them, which is the second choice. And I have one piece of food right now. I can't fed them the other one. Fed it the other one. And the last one is pretty much like a fusing two together. Like if you have two in the aquarium, you can fuse them. Now let's go to the fun part, which is the mini games and other stuff. Now the top choice is like the shop to buy stuff. And uh, and the second one is like a map where you buy different areas. And right now I'm on an area where I can't meet. Kind of hard. Kind of hard, but you can change it. I got every area, but I haven't completed them yet. There's like these little mini games that you have to play. But these ones I can play just to get money. 
Now I'm going to play this one, but I'm going to tell you what they are in it. Anyway, this one is like a catching game. The the middle one is like a slot, like a slot one. You play slots. This one is like a fishing game, I guess, where you have to like hit little targets on the touch screen. And this one is a racing game. Now let's go to the to the Coliseum looking one. And I only unlocked the easy one. That's what the little design looks like. I showed you how to play it on the beginning, and then you got to choose the monster or whatever you want to call him, and it shows your opponent. And you got to click it, and there we go. It shows like three little cards. It shows like three little cards, and there's kind of like a pattern to them, really. Like if you pick this card over here that has the letter P on it, um, the only the only way your opponent can defeat it is with if he picks this one over here, the G card. And it to defeat the G card, you need the C card. Wait. Um. Yeah. To defeat the G card, you need the C card. And. Oh well, yeah. And we both picked the same card. Um, I'm not sure which one will win. Oh, looks like he won that time. It's kind of like a little card match. Hmm, this time I'm picking G. Um, no, he won. Mm hmm. Yes, this time I won. And he's going to die easy because he's on like level 25, I think. No, wait, 29. And the other one is like on a weak level. And there are two options. This is to move on to the next opponent, and this one is to to just exit. I want to exit right now. And this guy gives you money. That same guy over here. And I'm going to get out of here. So yeah, that's pretty much all about it. And there's one more thing that is pretty cool about this. Is you see this little button right here? You can you can push it and it, it and it ejects the little this little thing. And you can switch it. And as you can see the screen changed. And when you put one of these in, you have to you have to keep turning it. And there you go. But unfortunately, I can't um, show you the rest of it. So um, my next video will feature the Beyblades. So yeah. So, this is my Mega Man 11, signing off. Bye.